Coal restoration is a labor-intensive process. Here, Ken Niedemeyer is providing a training for volunteers and explaining how the workforce will be structured in teams so that they can coordinate their work. Ken also provides demonstrations so the volunteers know how to harvest the coral from the coral nursery and then also how to affix the coral to the reef substrate with epoxy. Here, Ken's daughter, Julia, is teaching young volunteers how to uh, mix epoxy and also s clean the substrate to affix corals to the uh, new restoration site. Ken is working directly with a team of high school students and has selected some cultured corals that are one year old for transplant. Here in the coral nursery, the yellow team is cleaning the discs that the cultured coral is on and also measuring it so we know exactly how much it grows in its new environment and its new location. Ken Niedemeyer prepares each transplant site by identifying the site so the team can find the site. Here is the red team site with a little ball above the site. And also puts a marker in the substrate so the participants know where to epoxy a coral to the substrate to the reef. The placement of each coral from the coral nursery is important 
because their genome has been identified and the ultimate objective is to bring together a biodiverse group of corals with different genomes to create a successful breeding coral colony. Here we have volunteers working together to affix some staghorn corals from the nursery to the transplant site with the underwater epoxy. As you can see by this short video, coral restoration is difficult and intense work. It's very labor intensive, so we can always use a lot of volunteers that want to get hands on with the coral restoration process. Also, in the coral nursery, there's a lot of maintenance and a lot of documentation that is necessary to document the coral's growth and his progress in his health. Another way you can help is through the Coral Restoration Foundation's Adopt a Coral program. Check it out at coralrestoration.org.